And if something's trying to bite him or something, he would jump up in their mouth and, and poke him. Oh. Wow. Ordinarily, when I treat one of these guys, about half an hour after I'm done working with them, my hands are all itchy from being poked because it's, it stings, even holding them with his own weight. I'm good, right here. Yeah. I really just on the game. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good one. All right. Oh, oh, oh. This is Umgongo. Umgongo uh, is Swahili for uh, spiny. And this is an African spiny hedgehog or a pygmy hedgehog. Uh, they're very, very common on the ground there. Uh, they insectivores in general. Uh, each one of these quills is actually hollow, okay, which is quite unique. You can actually put them upside down in the water and they would float. So they make really good boats. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, the last time I was on YouTube, there was probably a dozen or two dozen videos of these guys floating in the bathtub, you know, on their backs, just swimming around. Um, so they, I don't think they would do that much in nature, but uh, there have been quite a few humans that have gotten them used to stuff like that. In the wild, they're basically insectivores. Uh, seeing as how he doesn't trust me and won't come out, you won't see this, but he's he basically has got a rather long snout. That snout actually allows him to uh, chew his way into the uh, leaf litter and dirt, dig up grubs and bugs and worms. Uh, these guys are so, so cute. Uh, as a veterinarian, this is how I see them. So I have a hard time appreciating them as a pet because I, you know, I've had to put them under anesthesia just to get them to relax where I could actually do a physical exam. Um, I've seen them with broken legs and, and had to amputate toes on these guys, but I usually I've got to gas them down to the point where they're relaxed where I can actually get inside and do anything for them. But this is how I see them on the average. Um, <clears throat> they're really beautiful creatures. I just, I love these things. I just wish they liked me more. Um, actually, believe it or not, they're quite common. I mean, I wouldn't rank them in the top 10, maybe in the top 50 or 60, but, but they, uh, you can find them in most pet stores. There are, uh, I actually have two clients that are registered USDA breeders. Um, so we, th these things are sold a lot. I mean, I, I, I really see, yesterday I saw two, in the, this last week. So their lifespan, three to five years. Ba mainly insectivores. Right now, he is eating cat food. Um, yes, actually, they do. Oh, wait, to get his feet to come out. Oh, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Get your feet out. Show us what they look like. Maybe you can see him start to come out. <laughs> My hands are all prickly. Want to touch him? Nope. Hmm? It's an African hedgehog. His name's Umgongo, which is Swahili for spiny. Hmm? Where's his what? Where's his legs? Inside there. When he is sitting normally, he would actually, if I get him to do this. All right. Come on, buddy. Nothing's happening. Come out. Come out. <laughs> Ask him to come out very nicely. <laughs> There's a little bit of his face he's showing us. Yes. Oh, he's thinking about coming out now. It's all right, buddy. We got you. Come on. They say one of the tricks to getting these guys out of here outside of anesthesia is kind of turn them upside down. Hmm? <laughs> Oops. There you go, buddy. Come on. Mm-hmm. You've probably seen his nose. I see his eyes. <laughs> Where's the floor cam? Turn him around. When I was in vet school, my large animal professor actually had one of these as a pet. 
and uh, it roamed the house, so they actually can have quite a bit of territory. But it turns out that uh, it used to hunt the dog down. She had a griffin as a pet. And uh, it would, the, the stories I would hear is the dog would be up on the couch and the hedgehog would make its way, actually climb the edge of the couch, make its way up there, kind of wiggle its way under the dog and then start spining it from underneath. Um, I did get to see one video of the whole thing. So, you know, I, these guys have quite a bit of personality and, and uh, when you give them that kind of, uh, that kind of territory, I'm sure they can get in a lot more trouble.